Jerome. It's been a while. I'm very sad to announce you that Julia died. Isn't that high quality voice over? Oh well, more text to speech. And this is the Scum VM version which sounds a lot better than the original DOS game. Still at that time having a game fully voiced must have been quite an experience. Mortwell Manor is a detective adventure game originally released 1986 for the Sinclair QL but then ported to the Atari ST and Amiga and MS-DOS. The later versions with much improved graphics that have been quite impressive for the time when the game came out. The player takes on the role of Jérôme Lange, a private investigator. The story begins when Jérôme is called to Mortwell Manor by his old friend Julia who urgently requests his help. Upon arriving, he finds out that Julia has mysteriously died and it's up to him to investigate her death. I'm going to show you some of the creepier scenes here from a stream from Julia Minamata because I never actually got that far. And shout out to The Crimson Diamond, a really great modern adventure game paying homage to the looks and the gameplay of the earlier Sierra titles. Mortwell Manor was a really overwhelming experience for me. There are so many different actions you can do on each room and nobody tells you what you're supposed to do besides, well, finding out what happened to Julia. So I more or less just stumbled from room to room, talked to everybody until everyone was pissed off at me and didn't answer my questions anymore. Then I started picking up random items until I found out that your inventory is very limited and then I was caught snooping around and had a game over. Still I very much appreciated the murder mystery atmosphere throughout the mansion and the different intriguing locations that really made me want to find out more about what happened here. Yes, I would have definitely appreciated a more modern user interface, but with some trial and error I was able to figure out how to play the game. What was a bit disappointing though was the repetitive dialogue, so if you ask different people about stuff they don't know, they will all answer in the same way and generally the dialogue is rather short and not that interesting to read. Which is a bummer because I think these murder mystery games really thrive on their quirky characters and your interactions with them. In summary, I think this game might be interesting to some of you that have played almost every DOS game because, well, it's really rather obscure, but if you are just getting into DOS gaming, this would not be the first title I would recommend. I hope you had some spooky fun watching this video and I'll see you on the next episode.